I feel like my hair is lopsided. It's definitely lumpy. <laughs> you know, when I travel by myself, I have to kind of temper things and behave myself a little bit because obviously I have to get myself back to my room. Um, there's no one to drive me around if I have a car, you know, so on and so forth. But when I go out with people, <laughs> I'm not a binge drinker and I don't really, it's been a long time since I've been so intoxicated that I'm like drunk, drunk, but yeah, I'm also kind of a lightweight, so it doesn't take much to get me feeling happy. And um, yeah, let's just say I'm not feeling the greatest today. <laughs> there is still videos that have to be made, so let's just do what's happening this week. I and I'm not doing hair of the dog. This is this is not alcoholic. It needs to be, <laughs> but. Let's just get to it. It's time for what's happening this week. Okay, what's happening? That's where I tell you what's going on in the world of this week. Now, here's my usual disclaimer. I'm only one person. I don't get to do as much reading and research as I would like to anymore because my life is very weird and complex, but um, I do my best. So if I left something off that's near and dear to your heart, it's not out of malice or it's just, it's not out of malice or anger or anything like that. It's just basically I didn't know about it. So please just be nice. Also, feel free to comment below or on any of my other social media platforms and then um, I can either, if it's still going on next week, I could talk about it then, or I'll put it on the list for next year. But before we get started with the video itself, if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Gretchen, the Tipsy Travel Gal. I am a licensed esthetician and a travel agent, and it is my goal to eat, drink, and spa my way around the world. Now, of course, I'll be bringing you with me, showing you a bunch of really cool things and interesting things to do, places to stay, and of course, delicious food and drink. What I would love is for this to inspire you to travel, whether that be domestic or international. So if this sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also in the description of this video will be my GoFundMe page. And there you can learn about my journey and where I'm at, where I'm going. And if you have a few extra coins and can donate, I would appreciate that as well. But let's go ahead and get started with what's going on this week. <laughs> Now, if you've been thinking about the land down under, this weekend is a fantastic weekend to be going there, particularly Brisbane, because it is the a good food and wine show. I can't think of anything better than that. It starts the 27th of October and runs through the weekend, ending October the 29th. Now, what's at the good food and wine show, you may ask? Well, let me tell you, it's hundreds of stalls that have food, wine, and other spirits and beverages at them. In terms of wine, all the Australian regions are represented, but there are also other winemakers from around the world. But it's not just wine, even though the events may suggest that it only is. No, it also includes a bunch of different distillers, as well as different spirits and beer. And that comes from Australia, as well as international providers as well. And that goes for the food, too. So it's not just Australian food, although it's well represented. Now, general admission to this event is $35. And with that, you can go to pop-up restaurants from celebrity chefs. There's a small artisan market where you can purchase food and drinks. There's cooking demos with different types of cuisine, including plant-based, gadgets, and different techniques. Your general admission ticket also gives you access to a wine masterclass. It also gives you access to the show floor where you'll have access to tastings of wine, beer, spirits, cheese, different kinds of food. Now for an extra $7, you can get yourself a tasting glass, which I would definitely recommend. If you've ever done any kind of these shows, you want that tasting glass. Now there are also advanced tickets to this event uh, that run between $75 and $120. And they're centered around topics. So there is a wine lover's admission. There's a cheese lover's admission. There's a gin lover's admission. There's a champagne masterclass edition. And there is also a wine class experience 
admission as well. Now with these advanced admissions, you get a tote bag with a whole bunch of goodies that are centered around the type of experience that you've selected and most of them you get entered in for very expensive bottles of wine or cheeses or whatever you're looking at. Of course, no fare would be complete without the VIP access. That ticket's $155. And with that, you get free drinks, which, <laughs> cheers, right there, it's probably worth it. Access to a VIP lounge, as well as free gifts. Now, no matter what admission you get, you can actually add master classes onto your day. They're a small fee running from like $12 to $50. They go throughout the day. They rotate and change throughout the weekend. And this includes things like wine and food tasting programs, soda stream mixology, and yes, that's soda stream. And then my personal favorite, the Smelly Cheese Project, where they rotate different classes on things like pairings with wine, pairings with chocolate, different cheeses throughout the world. Now, if you are going to be heading to Brisbane for this event, don't forget there is still whale watching in Hervé Bay going on. So that would be something fun for you to do while you're in Brisbane. However, right now there's only one road that if you're driving it, there's only one road that gets you there and they have intermittent closures. I'm not quite sure why it probably is just construction, but if you're heading there and you're watching this and you're like, oh yeah, we should go, make sure you check the road conditions to see if it's closed or not. Because it's closed at intermittent times throughout the day. And then from what I understand, it's sometimes closed the whole day. So just keep that in mind. And now it's time to move on to the other event happening this week. <laughs> The Salon du Chocolat in Paris, one of my favorite places, is also running this weekend. It starts on October the 28th and runs all the way through November 1st. So five fabulous days of everything chocolate. Now technically this is a trade fair that's dedicated to chocolate and cocoa. Can't forget the cocoa. There is a variety of chocolatiers, pastry chefs, confectioners, cocoa producers, and of course major brands that will be there. So obviously there's a trade show floor, but there's also a variety of events that are happening during this time. There are live chef's demos that are different and rotated out each day. There's the junior pastry show, so you can bring your kids and they can have a children's version of this show where they also get to do hands-on activities. There's a lecture series, something called the Carousel of Talents. And every day, different young brands are showcased so you can learn about them and what they have. There's pastry competitions, and that includes for amateurs and professionals. Chocolate sculptures, and of course, if you are in the trade, meaning you're in the bakery, restaurant, or trades, there is a section just for you that has the latest technologies, equipments, and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, if you want to go all five days, which there is a ton to see, it's actually only 60 euros, so that's not bad at all. You can buy daily passes, and they range in price from adults, students, family passes, children passes. You can also do two-day passes, but like I said, if you really want to get the bang for your buck, you're probably looking at the five-day pass. That way you can go every single day and not miss a single thing. Now, if you want to go for opening night, it's an extra 30 euro and it's a huge gala, which includes the chocolate dress show. That's where different beauty houses partner with chocolatiers and they create dresses made out of chocolate. I would ask where can I get one, but let's be honest. Um, first of all, it would take a lot of chocolate. Second of all, I would probably eat it or at least part of it before I went out on it, so. Yeah. So that's what's going on this week around the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you would please like it for me and consider, of course, subscribing to my channel. There is more of this content to come along with a lot of other things, including my travel inspirations. If you'd like me to cover something that's going around the world, please comment down below or you can reach me on any of the socials out there. I am Tipsy Travel Gal. You can also contact me at my website tipsytravelgal.com and if you look all the way at the top and to the right you will see the contact me page where you can send me a direct email. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fantastic week and if you're in Brisbane or Paris first of all lucky. Second of all enjoy yourselves. I will see you guys next time. Bye.